she was here a while back ago. What's up, guys? Um, I got a very important uh, uh, message that I want to share with you guys um, as fans and as um, it's just public knowledge that I, I want to share with you guys. And uh, pretty much I'm going to come clean about a lot of stuff that has been going on. Uh, I can't say a certain name, but you all guys know uh, the truth and know uh, who this person that I'm talking about stood along for a long time protecting this one person and telling the public, you know, that me and this certain person were friends for a long time. Uh, and we weren't friends, and I said that just so nobody would attack this one person. And uh, y'all know who I'm talking about. Those who shall remain nameless. Yeah. Um, Those we do not speak of. There. <laughs> but I'm coming here today, uh, and it's not Meg, guys. It's not Meg. I love Meg. Meg's a sweetheart. I love Meg. Yeah, Meg's awesome. Uh, but y'all know who I'm talking about, and um, what I'm here today and this is, is a public service announcement to come clean and um, pretty much kind of at my end group clean out the closet so it's not Corey it's not Jason it's not Meg it's not Gizmo y'all know who it is um, there's a lot of unanswered stuff that's happened in the past and you know, the fans speculated, and, you know, I covered it up, and I went to bat for this person two or three times on social media trying to protect her. And what happened was is I guess I in somewhere in the midst of everything I got accused. In the midst of everything I got. Uh, it doesn't matter. They know exactly what I'm saying. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. But uh, I got accused for some stuff uh, on social media, and I don't know. It could be because of cat and her trolls uh you know it started out how somehow i got blamed for making troll accounts to troll natalie first off i could care less about that situation um and i don't even know how to make a troll account for one second off i've protected natalie since day one since i set my foot inside that big brother house and um uh, I just wanted to come clean with the public, and I'll tell you all the reason why. A lot of people in the public wanted to know the relationship between me and this one person. Well, it's been rocky. It's been really rocky. Uh, pretty much since outside of the Big Brother house, um, I tried to, you know, let this person know how I felt about her. And uh, she pretty much shut me down and given me the... Uh, the silent treatment um, right right out from the Big Brother house in LA she uh, stayed with uh, some family and invited Michelle over and um, so I went to Vegas ever since then it's been pretty much a rocky relationship and uh, we've had good times and we had our bad times but 85% of it was bad and what I'm coming here today to say is to clear the air up because I've been getting accused for a lot of stuff. I've been quiet and I've went to bat for this one person on social media more than one time. But the straw that broke the camel's back for me is, is that I'll take bullets. Y'all know that's what I'm about. I'll take bullets all day long. I'm not scared to get my hands dirty and, uh, I'm not scared to, you know, do what I have to do. But I also will take the high road a lot. And that's what I was trying to do. I'm trying to tell y'all right now that I had no shape, any form of any troll accounts that was ever against Natalie or anybody else. I had no troll accounts. I do not wish to do that. I do. My life is, I'm happy. I'm out on a boat every day. I'm hanging out with friends. Um, I, there's no reason for me to be on social media stalking or talking crap to anybody about it. My, my life is very happy right now, and I've been happy for a while. 
So, with that being said, there are some details in our relationship that a lot of people um, that a lot of people miscommunicated because I gave them false information. And one of them is, I don't know if y'all remember or not, but during the Jets game, I was nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found, guys. Do y'all remember that? Because I know a lot of people was like, where'd James go during the Jets game? Where, where did I go, Jason? Uh, you came back home. I came back home. But he didn't hang the curtain, so he didn't hang tonight. No, no, no. He didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't go to the Jets game. I didn't hang curtains either. Because Goodbye, America. I went through a certain person's phone. Okay. Be strong. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that, man. I listened to enough rap to, to basically be a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Not guilty. You got to feel me, all right? Yeah, I know. Um, no, I went I went through uh, somebody's phone. CJ. And I'm not going to call her name. And I found out she was talking to an ex-boyfriend. Okay? Um, I found out that it was a... Now, this is what's the funny part. She uh, saved it up under a girl's name that was affiliated that we did a bullies reality event with her name was sky and the two comparisons did not match because i know sky is one of my good friends and i know her and natalie don't talk that much so yeah what any boyfriend would do when they feel like they're being cheated on is they will go pick up the phone and you can call me crazy you can call me whatever you want but I'll be that person. If I'm getting cheated on, I'd be dumb not to try to find out what's going on. But what I found out is, is that now that this person, sorry, this person uh, decided to save her ex-boyfriend's name up under another alias, Sky. Um, and her former ex-boyfriend was a basketball player for the New York Knicks. So, um, I kept all those receipts. I saved them. I screenshotted them. And that's the, one of the reasons why I left um, the Jets or whatever city I was in, New York or whatever. I took off and I left. And I called one of my good friends. And I was so devastated that I confided in a few of her best friends at the time. And I'm not going to call any names out because that person... Um, she, uh, she has never done anything to me and she's been a good friend. Well, one of Natalie's good friends recommended that I leave, persuaded me that, you know, if I were you, I'd leave. So I did. I took off and I left and I had a, a buddy buy me a plane ticket because I was going to stay the night. Uh, where I was at and he was like no you're heartbroken we need to get you out of there ASAP we don't want you in a hotel room by yourself so um so I found out about that and the whole time she was calling me you know telling me that she was wrong um I should well at first she she was yelling at me or upset at me because I went through her phone and she said I went through her phone and I was wrong for that and I shouldn't have done it and she couldn't grasp the whole fact that okay I went through your phone but I found out shady stuff um so that's one situation and like I said me and Natalie have been broken up for a long time guys I know I told you guys uh that we broke up probably sometime after I don't know January February I don't remember when it was Christmas time after Christmas but me and Natalie has been broken up for a while. Natalie, when I when I told her that, um, when I told her that we should go out and come clean to the public, she told me that no, I don't think that's a good idea because I don't want to get any hate on my family. I don't want to get any hate on my cousins for Christmas. And you're gonna do what you're gonna do. But if you do that, just know that. 
I'm pissed. I'm going to be pissed. It's pretty much the, the same whole Big Brother concept when we were in the house. She said, if you ever talk to Corey, uh, if you ever talk to Corey and them again, or you decide to work with them, I'll never talk to you again. That, my friends, is the real person. Second off, I want to say that Natalie decided to send some paperwork to my house after me protecting her and me going to bat for her and me raising money for her family that is so devastated over there in Venezuela. She comes to me and this is all after everything's done and said. Never made a fake troll account. We went on the cruise. She ignored me. That's fine. Whatever. But then she has the nerve to send me some paperwork. Some paperwork, guys. And let me show you what this paperwork says. West Chase Law PA, a private law firm. This person sends me this paperwork to my place of zen, my house. Okay? Yeah. She sends paperwork. And I just want to get this out there, guys. The girl y'all see in paper, the girl that y'all see in the U.S. magazines or whatever you want to call it, that's not the real person. The real person sends stuff like this and says, I'm sweet. I'm, you know, a lover of all things. Positivity is free. But this, I'll send behind your back and I won't tell the public. Right here, it says, and keep in mind, guys, my lawyers, um, my lawyers took a look at this paperwork. This is nothing but a cease and assist. 